In today's vlog, I went to see one of Australia's fastest growing e-commerce brands, Lucent Globe. These boys are changing the way that Australians wash their dishes and are currently doing $100,000 days after just a year of business. Watch until the end and learn everything that they did to go viral on social media to become a renowned brand in Australia. That's awesome. <laughs> so the reason why cleaning businesses are so damn good for social media, not because they're mass market, but simply because of the anticipation. So people see something dirty and they see it start being cleaned and they want to see the entirety of the video. We're going to see Loose and Globe now. So they're one of the Daily Mentor clients. They're doing 100 grand days and they're selling a cleaning product. Like EcoWorks did $50 million in another Australian success story. Alyssa and Lissandra are doing cleaning products as well. So we'll get all the secrets of it and yeah, chat a bit about Daily Mentor as well. Got a Tesla. Let's go. Hey, I always love Gold Coast. Queenslanders are a different bunch, but I love them all. That's true. I haven't traveled to South Australia. People say that about South Australians as well though. Bloody weirdos down there. It's the game on lock, I stand with a key. The comments is just really, really difficult. Like if you don't have someone that lives and breathes the brand, things just fall through the cracks. If you think about in e-commerce, you need to be a customer service expert. You need to be a product expert. You need to be a marketing expert and you need to understand operations and finance. Like. That is like five job descriptions. It's just incredibly difficult. It requires a huge amount of adaptation as well, simply because as soon as Facebook changes something or as soon as the content angles kind of change that you need to do, you need to pivot the whole organization. But nobody is, so I'm going hard. You're buying a Tesla? Yeah. <laughs> just now. Yeah, you can buy them online. <laughs> huh? You can buy them online. Did you really buy a Tesla <laughs> just now? <laughs> what the hell? It's nice. What on my shoulders? Let's go! I don't really just want to let myself in. Hello, mate. How's it going? Alrighty. Good to see you. Yeah. Hey, Howdy. Long time no see. Howdy, Jeff. This is this is cool. How long have you had this warehouse for? Two months. Two months. Yeah, two yeah, months. Two months. Not yeah. Long. Not yeah. Long. And you filled it up pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. This is so so exciting. And yeah. what, how much revenue you're doing per day now? Had a couple hundred thousand days. That's so. awesome. That yeah. that would have felt so good. Yeah. Hey? yeah is that cool. a pinch me moment? Yeah. yeah. Show me show me a product. Because you've got the laundry ones and then you've got the dishwasher ones as well. Good. So then we added more. Oh, that smells times. way better. Yeah, well better yeah. smell. Yeah. And are you in retailers yet? Uh, not yet. We're in talks at the moment. And who's doing all your packing? Pick and packing? Yeah, we've got a brother. We, yeah, we've got a few guys. <laughs> a little brother? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. God, it would get hot in here, guys. It's actually not too bad. Yeah. You know, this is, it probably as, will this get is as cold as Gold yeah. Coast gets, though, isn't yeah, it, today? Yeah, it'll be a real test in, like, December. We've got little, yeah. like, fans for all the guys. Yeah, I saw those. They, <laughs> I thought they were, like, $2 drop shipping fans or something, but they look like they're pretty good. Yeah, the real deal. <laughs> what yeah. content are you shooting? You've got a bit of... Can you see our latest video? Nah, nah, show, show me, there. show me. Don't actually <laughs> use detergent to wash their dishes. They use Most bleach. Aussies don't actually use detergent to wash their dishes. They use bleach. And that bleach is crazy expensive. <coughs> Why are you eating off this? Because big brands have brainwashed Aussies into buying their expensive plastic bags full of expensive chemicals and expensive bright colors. Our dissolvable detergent this sheets is are awesome. made from plant-based ingredients. Yeah, it's like They're pre-measured zero waste and come biodegradable yeah. packaging. And we only posted it last time. Wait, to save money on their washing organic. organic. Yeah, organic from TikTok. Business. That's crazy. Yeah, or just interact with this post to help us get shown more like, people. 14 hours. Or, yeah. Imagine what it's going to do on performance. Yeah, I wonder if you can do an ad where it's like <laughs> one of you's dirty dishes or like the the big brands and then one of you's like loose yeah. and glow. Yeah. <laughs> and you can play on the twin thing. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So I'm Brody. I'm 27. I'm Roger and I'm also 27. I'm Josh, I'm 28. So yeah, we founded Loose and Globe. So my brother and I started back in 2022. We really wanted to address the problem of just plastic pollution. I guess what we'd seen going around the world. Coming up with the idea for a, a sustainable cleaning product that doesn't use plastic packaging was something that we saw was trending well overseas and clearly had a market, but also addressed a massive environmental issue and uh, was really just a good thing to do. The product is basically a sheet of detergent. so. Basically, you just put it in some water and it'll just dissolve within a couple of seconds. And then, yeah, it pretty much creates the detergent inside the machine. So you're not wasting all this water or plastic packaging to actually get it to the consumer. I think we started, yeah, just in our garage with our first lot of stock and um, trying to figure out how to learn how to market, how to run ads and 
you know, set up the website properly and um, just educating people actually was, was a big thing. And we were able to do that through um, the content that we created, which was a, a big factor in helping us get to where we are. We all share the same kind of niche hobby, which is collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Me and Broad actually yeah. managed to find some really rare cards, rated it, essentially it was like the only one in the world. We put it up for sale on this this group that was of everyone in the entire world, well, everyone who was interested in the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, this guy Josh from Southport was like, yep, I'll, I'll buy it. And um, from there, he just kind of took an interest in and what we were doing with Lucent Globe. Yeah, I remember meeting the boys probably about 12 months ago and they came to me and they were like, we've got this business, the product's great, um, we've built this following up, the content's really good, but we've just spent this money on stock. It's, it's stuck on this ship. They've spent this money on ads and we're stuck here. We need a bit of money. We need a bit of guidance. Um, but my background wasn't on e-com. Um, it was more on real estate and other businesses, but I knew the boys and I believed in their vision. And so I came on board as one of the directors as well. Just through the process of, I guess, us learning was everything was super organic and we've just really taken that organic approach and pushed it into our paid ads, which we, you know, push mainly on Meta. And that's really been the key driver of our growth is just organic, genuine content. Specifically like short form content, I guess, like mm. TikTok, especially Instagram Reels. About six months ago, we saw a tipping point, which was based around content. From one day, we sort of 10 x what we were doing just through organic content. And then from that day since, um, it's just continued to increase from there. So I think now, you know, we're doing $100,000 days and 12 months ago, we were doing a thousand dollar days. When we launched our products, we we're always sort of following the approach of like, just get the minimum viable product out. And then we get feedback from that. I think when we launched our dishwashing sheets, it was a real, like, realistically, we were the first people in the world to sort of really make a push for that. And we saw initially that the formula wasn't up to scratch. And I think since then, we've sort of had some pretty brutal, I guess, reality checks into needing to improve the product and improve the experience for the customer. And I think, that's sort of been the last, what, nine, 10 months. It's been a journey to sort of, yeah. you know, working with scientists and really doing whatever we can to provide the best product. And we're starting to see the results of that, but yeah, it always before kind of, that, it was, yeah. Especially when you're small and you're kind of relying on those reviews and you start getting some rough ones that each one really can, can take a hit. And I think, yeah, we just sunk as much of our time and effort as we could into coming up with a better product and yeah, as of, two months or a month mm -hmm. ago now. Yeah, we've launched our new product, which, yeah, we're seeing like, you know, 95% five star. It's, the reception's been really, really good, which is yeah, a testament to, I think, the work that we've put in. I think one of the big things there was even though when we innovated this new product and it wasn't great when we brought it out, because we'd done all this hard work in the past 12 months, building up this community, uh, this brand as well, the people that didn't even like the product and said, hey, it's not as great as the pods, they were still like, but let us know when the new product is available, when the better version's available. Like we want to support you guys. We want to see the new version. Mm. Um, and so they've come on the journey and now that it's even like three times better than the previous one, it's yeah. like, they're all like, we're so happy for you guys. We can't wait to see what else you have in store. Yeah, and I think listening to the customer is something that's got us to where we are. Um, yeah. Every email that comes in, every review, we look at, we take it very seriously. Um, yeah, I think my advice for someone who's looking to start an e-com business would be just start. Like, don't get caught up in needing to have the best idea and the best plan. Once you get going, those things will sort of start to fall into place. And I would, yeah, I'd also say, don't be afraid to work hard because initially, especially if you've got no experience, it's like, you need a hell of a lot of work to build up that skill. So yeah, I would say, yeah, work hard and just start. I think I'd also add to that in that I think social media plays a big part of what everyone's doing these days. I would say get on camera, show everyone what you're doing. Um, even though originally at the start it might just be your mum and dad and a couple of mates who are yeah. who are watching it. Um, if you believe in it, keep putting yourself out there even if it's uncomfortable and um, the results will come. I think the most exciting thing is like we still feel like we're probably barely started. Like yeah. We're still, yeah. whilst we've done all this, it's like we're barely scratching the surface of what we can do. And so like the next 12 months, we're super excited to see what's going to happen expanding internationally, getting into retail. So it's the Lewis and Globe lads. Appreciate their trust in Daily Mentor and uh, their story is really awesome. I think they're gonna have really great results. And they, they need to get a CFO and uh, their expansion in the US will be great, but I'm gonna sign off for today. We're just gonna 
start editing some vlogs because we're behind. Tomorrow we are seeing Simon Beard, founder of Culture King's $650 million exit, and we're seeing his new house. So I don't think anyone's done a house tour for him yet. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, I don't have daily sale updates because it's the weekend and I haven't checked in. So we'll update on Monday. Bye. Okay.